What up, man? Yo. It's your boy, yes, that. Hold on. Leave me alone. <laughs> Holla at me. Well, all in all, we had a bad month in December, even though we came on and blew out the Lakers. Right after that, we caught a couple losses. We even lost three straight. Now, yeah, we hopped back on our feet. We got one game, lost one game, got another two. But then we went on a three-game losing streak to end off the month. Things weren't looking good. We had to make a few changes. Of course, you guys don't know, but J.R. Smith did get injured. Yes, it was a wrist injury. He was shooting way too many threes. But it is what it is. He's now back. And now that we're on a two-game winning streak, we're just trying to take on Brooklyn. Hello, Brooklyn. <laughs> But just to show you guys some around the league news, hey, some of our players aren't happy. Some of our players may want to get shipped off, but I ain't tripping. As long as it ain't my core guys, as long as it ain't my guys that's putting up buckets, I ain't worried about it. Ain't nobody got time for that. But we are going up against the Brooklyn Nets. I just want to show you guys what they've done in the last two games. Yes, they're on a two-game winning streak as well. So one of us got to lose. One of us got to keep going, and one of us got to bite the dust. So hopefully it's definitely going to be Brooklyn. Oh, man, I pray that I win this game. Playing on Hall of Fame against five players, and you actually have to play each person on defense. Oh, man, I'd be getting torched. But... It's time for me to get into this game, but I got a little surprise for y'all. Y'all know I'm signed with Jordan, so yes, everybody is about to put on them Jordan 28s, and we're going to switch it up and go with the alternate away jerseys. Let's go. Let's hear it for Jay-Z! <gasps> Yo! What's going on everybody? It's Hot Pot King Carter here, the Superman YouTube. And I just want to tell you guys one little thing. This game was epic. Right from the start, Brooklyn ain't pulled no punches. Did you guys just see Gerald Wallace pull up for the jumper? He ain't even let us set up on defense. That's how ugly it's getting. But check it out. We got a mismatch in the building, you guys, and his name is Thaddeus Young. He's too quick. He's too fast. He's too much. No power forward or center on the Brooklyn Nets is going to be able to tie his shoes. They can't even put his laces in his sneakers. That's how ugly it's going to get tonight. I'm telling y'all right here, right now, the first quarter went to Thaddeus. And did y'all just see Hov? Did you see that look on his face? He said, who is this nigga? <laughs> he, he took it back to smack on him, but hey. All things come to an end when they try to pass it out to J.R. Smith. How you going to pass it to a man that's not even hot? He ain't even get going yet. And you already got him put enough for threes. But guess what? After Joe Johnson wanted to get a layup, guess who out they see now? Look who's all hysterical. Please. You better sit your five. You know what? I ain't even going to say $5. He getting money. But guess what? We back to that mismatch. And his name's is Thad. Did you see him get kneed in the face with the continuation? He ain't called for the foul. He ain't look at the ref and say, hey, ref. What happened right there? I, I, I should be going to the line, ref. Nah, we go through that. You know what I'm saying? We, we warriors out here. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, man, all about this match match. I'm telling you now, Thaddeus Young, I can say this. If you put him at the small forward, it might be a problem. 
But at power forward, he can't be stopped. Did you guys just see that spin move? He spun in the lane open wide. Like, did you? See? Oh my goodness, y'all don't understand. But check it out, man. Brooklyn, they ain't going down without a fight. They still got Joe Johnson. He's still doing what he does. He getting and one layups here, there, finisher here, there. <laughs> this dude got like finisher level 50. But hey, did y'all hear about that new young boy, Bullock? Yeah, yeah. Y'all need to learn about him. He going to be showing out this season. I'm telling you right now. This dude can jump out the gym. I found out recently playing a few games with him that he also can shoot the pill. But check him out on a break. Splitting the defenders. Getting the and one. Brushing the dirt off his shoulders. He taking shots at Hove. And Hove is on the bench like, ooh. I can't wait till the end of this game. I might have to sign him to my new sports agency. <laughs> But yeah, man, we had a great first quarter, and just to end it off, we had to bring the little boy Macklemore in to put on a few moves, get Joe Johnson in the air. Getting, look, did you see that, boy? Did you see that up and under? That was mean. But they're not going to be able to hit this shot. Joe Johnson ain't got that type of range. He ain't got that strange range. But let's hop into the second quarter, y'all. Now, the second quarter was a little bit more of the same. This dude named Bullock, man. Oh, boy. This dude can rise on him. Did you check this replay? I just want you guys to see one little small detail. His head was above the rim. That's all that matters. That is the only thing that matters. This dude right here, I found out a lot about him, man. I will say that. He may be a star player in like the next season or two. I ain't going to say this season because, of course, he's a rookie. He has potential, though. I will say that. I changed his role. He has a little bit of morale. But one tip for association. When the computer scores, you need to come down and do the same thing, if not better. So they pulled up for a deuce, and we pulled up for the trade ball. So that's all that matters. But check out this play right here. When have you ever seen Joe Johnson pass out of a shot like that? Who, who, who in the world would have known he had dimes like that? <laughs> but one thing I will say, when you draft players, you want to draft players that can do things like this. Rise, baby, rise. Did y'all just see how McLemore took off? Talk about cutting baseline on him. Oh, my God. But with every reserve that we have, I've noticed that Thaddeus Young is now being guarded by a small forward. And we have somebody named Taylor in the game, which is one of the worst players I have ever seen in my life. Because guess what happens when he shoots the ball? They come down, cross up one of my guards, pass it back to the three, shoot the pill. And they nailed the three. So now they're within three with four minutes left. Oh, my. Oh, I was so pissed off. You know what I did? I was like, you know what? I need to step it up. But guess what? Joe Johnson ain't done. Yep, he ain't done. Mm -mm. I, I shot the three, but he ain't done. That That's all That's all you need to know. But guess what? We come back down. We do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Set up on the offense. I hit the little quick isolation with Drew. Hit him with a nice little uh-uh. And pulled up right in his face. Yeah, I waited for the defense. I ain't got no fear. No fear at all. But coming down to the last play in the second quarter, I had to pull up with Smith, man. I tried. But Noel got the rebound. He loses it. And now they're out on a break. And you already know what's going to happen. Check out this ball movement. I've never seen that in 2K. That was a beautiful pass out of the layup. I couldn't complain about anything. And <laughs> I even tried a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of fanciness right here, a little trickery. Try to come up with JR, get open, pull up for the tray, and I held it too long. So, yep, I did not hit the shot. But let's get into halftime. I'm going to let the commentators do what they do, commentate over this game, and you guys will see a little bit more highlights. Now, presented by Sprint. Glad you're spending Saturday night with us. Let's check out what's happened so far. The 76ers playing well up to the break. They're gunning from distance. The three-pointer's been their prime weapon. A solid performance by Thaddeus Young. What he's been able to do from the field has been nothing short of spectacular. Only a select few players in the league can shoot the ball like that. And the Nets going all out. At every opportunity, they're pushing it on the break and looking to run it down the opponent's throat. Chris Humphreys giving them a nice boost. He's got 12 points and is putting out the effort defensively as well, making his presence felt on both ends of the floor. Starting things off with a look at games on tap for later. 
It'll be the Raptors out at Air Canada Centre against the Bobcats. That gets going 7.30 Eastern. And another game that's coming up, the Bulls will square off against the Celtics in Boston. 7 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Pacific is the tip time. And now, a look at the other NBA action. It'll be the Magic out at Amway Center against the Hawks. This one, a meeting between divisional foes. That one starting at 7 o'clock Eastern. And standing tall over New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty, as we welcome you back. One guy who's getting it done is Thaddeus Young. Yeah, the points have really come in bunches for him so far, and not really a surprise because you know exactly what he can do. Well, he's been in the groove all game long, Steve, and not too many hiccups in regards to his shooting, but we also have come to expect this from him. Coming into the third quarter, we were dealing with a different team. They were rejuvenated, they had a game plan, and they were doing everything that they needed to do. They even took the lead from us. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. So you know what I did. I forced a little turnover. We get the cookies. I'm out on a break. No, I ain't throwing no alley-oop. I'm getting a quick bucket. I'm playing on Hall of Fame. I, I don't have the luxury of throwing that self alley -oop right there. I could have threw it off the rim. I could have threw it out of bounds. You know what that is. Can't pass that well. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But back to the highlights. Yeah, that's right. You see Drew shaking him up, passing it off, going around the pick. He going baseline on him. Yeah, he got dunked on. Mm-hmm. That just happened. Yep. So sorry, Wallace. I'm sorry you had to be a part of that. that it happens to the best of us, homie. But guess what? They throwing little alley-oops. Don't know what they doing. Noel out on the break. I ain't even know he was able to pass. We still throwing alley-oops, 360 layups and all that. That's right. Did you see the Smith the Drew? Matter of fact, Noel the Smith the Drew. You know what? I ain't, I ain't, it ain't even no rap game. I'm just I'm just saying we nice out here. But uh, it all comes down to that, that little free throw routine, boy. I cannot hit that to save my life. But did y'all see the nice bounce pass between two defenders? That was one of the best bounce passes I've seen on this game in a long time. I don't even think I can split those defenders. But check out Beverly going around and pick, hitting Halls, Halls airballing, passing it off the Bullock, Bullock pulling up for three. You know it's cash. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It happens. You know, can, can we get a couple clutch buckets? But this is the last possession of the third. And guess what? Yep. Williams gets it blocked. They pass it off to Johnson. And he gets an easy momentum jump shot. Let's go into the fourth. As the fourth quarter gets rolling here, let's check out our Sprite uncontainable game. Let's go to Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, the 76ers have had the uncontainable game in this one. They've gotten the contributions they've needed from everyone that has stepped on the floor for them, and that's why they're in position as we head to the fourth. Thanks a lot, Doris. Starting out in the fourth quarter, we finally have somebody that's ready to show up to the party. Yeah, they came late, but his name is Noel. He is just electrifying in the fourth quarter. I didn't know where this dude came from. He was doing dunk after dunk, poster after poster. I was looking like, yo, is this even a center or is he a guard? Oh my goodness. Did y'all see that dunk? Do y'all think that warranted a foul? Do y'all even think that he has the footwork necessary to get to the rim? Well, look, he does, and he goes baseline reverse on him. Hold up. Did Brooklyn get those nuts in his face? Oh, j just a tad bit, just a tad bit. Oh, but Noel ain't done. He going off the pick and roll, cutting to the basket. Easy dunk. Easy. Looking like Dwight Howard in his prime right there. Boom. He, oh, that ball almost hit him in his face. I, don't, I ain't even know what to do right there. Oh yeah, just like I said, y'all think Noel done? Well, guess what? We going to the rim, Noel cutting, right? Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to tell you guys what was about to happen. That's bucket after bucket for the boy Noel. But I heard they were spiking Gatorade in Brooklyn. So you know I had to give J.R. Smith a taste. He taking the cookies, he out on a break with a clear lane. Guess what he does here? He throws it off the glass to himself. Great guggler, muggler, oh my goodness, Jesus. Yeah, I said it, Jesus. Is that what J.R. Smith doing out here nowadays? But guess what? His jumper still was not falling. He still hasn't recovered fully from that wrist injury. And I don't know why he tries to force himself to do that. But guess what? Brooklyn ain't done either. 
They coming out doing all types of craziness. Check out this play right here. Oh, we need to time out. We got to fade the black on that. No, I'm not talking about the black album. You guys have got to do something about their big three. Lopez, Williams, Johnson are scoring all over you guys. You have to step it up defensively if you think you're going to win this game. Yes, you can put points on the board. We know that. But can you stop them from putting points on the board? And also, I need someone to step up to bring us back from this deficit. Let's do it, fellas. Let's go. The most unexpected person answered that prayer, and his name is Jason Richardson. He was nailing shot after shot. He came in like he was a young boy. He even forced a double team that ended up being a jump ball. And guess what? Who would have known J.R. Smith had more bunnies than Joe Johnson? Everybody. <laughs> but Jason Richardson isn't done. He's going to hit three after three, bucket after bucket. He needs his team to come back, so he's willing to take on all comers he even faked the guy out at the three-point line and put up for a mid-range jump shot when the last time you seen a spot-up shooter do that but hey brooklyn ain't done they gonna hit they shots too don't think they not gonna score <laughs> it's all about their big three but check this out when the time on the clock is winding down you can only believe in one man and that's jason richardson oh my goodness did you see that shot did you really see it Check out how everybody is looking for Jason. Everybody is saying, Jason, Jason, get open, get open. He's like, oh, I'm here. I've been waiting on this opportunity. I'm going to nail everything you got for me. Even Patrick Beverly know the deal. He came off the bench and said, oh, my God, I know who I got to pass it to. I got to pass it to Richardson. Oh, my God, he hits the shot. And it's 141. And guess what? They couldn't hit the shot, so they forced it into overtime. And, uh... Do y'all go know that guy Noel? Yeah, that dude that jump out the building. He wins tip offs with ease. That's that's what he does. You know what I'm saying? We do that easy around here. But we back to the mismatch. Back to young. He in the paint. He see the boy wide open. Beverly gets the shot blocked and he's like, no. Cause Joe Johnson is out on the break. And he throws up a floater. What a pussy move. Oh man, I was so mad when that floater went up. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. And J.R. Smith finally gets his shot to fall. We was like, we was waiting on JR to get wild. And guess what? Noel's back. He sees JR in the corner for the fader. Oh my God. Oh my God. JR Swish is back, baby. JR Swish is back. And oh yeah, y'all heard about right. Right? Yeah. But Bullock is still here. Bullock is getting a nice little layup. Oh, man, I couldn't ask for more. We on the 10-2 run. We turning up on him. We said, oh, y'all tired already? Hove is on the bench. He don't even want the camera to be looked on. He said, if anybody put that camera on me, I'm kicking you out the arena for life. For life. <laughs> but it looks like we can't be stopped. Bullock goes coast to coast for a nice layup. And it's over, ladies and gentlemen. It is over. It's nothing that they can do. Right? Right? No, Bullock misses the free throw. They're only down three. He puts up a prayer. And of course it goes. <laughs> I really had y'all going on that one. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this association video. Oh, man, I be having a lot of fun with these joints, man. But we're about to hop into this crazy beat. You already know how the game go. My homie Jalil Beats did this thing. He just dropped this beat yesterday, by the way. I told him I had first dibs. I got to be the first YouTube commentator with this. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.